Shazam, the iPad producer from Riverside. How you doing? Alright, what's up everybody? It's your boy Shazam, the iPad producer. And I got a special video that I want to do. It's uh, comparing the IMPC Pro 2 and the MPC X. And how they work together. Alright, so... The first thing that I wanted to show, because I know a lot of people don't know about this, is how you can make a track on IMPC Pro on the iPad and then export it right into the MPC software or into your MPC X or your MPC Live, which is pretty dope. Okay, so we have uh, this little track. Let's see what we got. <laughs> Okay, a little something that uh, I did just for this video with a little Halloween twist. Okay, one thing I do like is the mixer. I love the mixer in, in IMPC Pro. Alright, so we got the perform page. We got the uh, tweak page where you can tweak your sounds. You can go through your little kits. You get basically the same kind of little kits that are the expansion packs that you would get in the uh, MPC software, but you get a smaller version of it. Um, and then you can also load your own sounds. Now this is an iPad Air. This is probably one of my slowest iPads, but I wanted to show that you can still make dope shit even with an older iPad. Okay, so these are all the pasted ones from I, what is it? Uh, Audio paste, audio copy, one of them, one of them, and then these are all the ones that I imported on my own. Now, one thing that I love are these. One thing that I love about these is you can literally take this, drag it, and drop it on the first pad, and it spreads all your kit around on the pads, so you don't have to drag and drop each kit or each sample. You can just uh, drop a folder. And you can drop as much as uh, 64 samples. Sometimes when you try to drop more than 64 samples, it'll crash the app. But it's pretty dope. And another dope thing about this is if you use a MPD uh, MIDI controller, it automatically maps. Okay, so let me get to the meat and potatoes of this first part. And then we'll talk about some other things in another video. The key thing that I wanted to show in this initial video was how to export so when your song is done um, let's go to the timeline so you can see the timeline okay my bad now if you see the timeline it doesn't show all your MIDI at once but once you click on the different tracks it'll show your MIDI notes and then you can zoom in and move stuff Okay, so there's also a song mode, but I never use that because I export it right to the MPC and then I'm done with it. Uh, then you have your tracks view, which is pretty dope. And then here you can see how all your stuff lays out. And then I don't know, can you, well, you can zoom in on that, but I don't know if you can, I don't think you can zoom it in. Uh, the make the track size is any smaller so just the length then you got the mixer your timeline then this is where you can tweak all your stuff you can edit your samples you know you can do all the your trimming your normalizes you can chop the pads and then let's see let me get out of here and stay on task and then you can also sample 
which is pretty dope. Then you can put your threshold wherever you want. You can uh, do the turntable where you can put in all your uh, samples, or not samples, your MP3s, your waves, or your samples if you have them in I uh, not iTunes, but your if you load it in through iTunes in the little music player. You can uh, sample from Interapp Audio, then you can resample from your pads, which is kind of dope. Okay, so let's get back to where we were originally. Okay, so right here you see where it says mix down. You can mix down. Well, I'm just going to take you through it. So when you hit mix down, it's going to render all your audio. Now, this mix, this uh, mix down is going to create a stereo file of your project so I don't want that you can also do the stems mix down the stems when you mix down the stems it's going to track everything out which is pretty dope so now even if you have AUV 3s or interapp audio it's gonna bounce that down to an audio track that is dope because if well all of these are audio tracks so these are stems of all your audio but the dopest thing about this is when you go to program and you scroll down you see this little tab that says export for MPC desktop you tap that and it's going to prepare your project and it's going to call it an MPC Pro export now mind you Every time you do this, you have to rename it or it will name them all MPC Pro Export. This is uh, it's one of the things that irritate me, but it's a workaround by just every time you do this, you go into the files app and you rename it whatever your project is. So as when this is done, that's what I'm going to do. It's just taking a little while because it's an older iPad. Now, mind you, this is running iOS 12.4. I'm running 12.4 for a specific reason. And this thing doesn't run. I can't update it to 13 anyway. But I won't go past 12.4 on this iPad. Okay, so done. Okay, so let's get out of here and see what actually happened. So we go to the Files app. And then we go to the files app. We're going to click on the IMPC Pro 2 tab and Fiesta Groove and get a grip. Those are all MPC exports that I did previously. Uh, if you see this over here, Halloween, I believe that is our mix down. So, and then where it says Halloween and it has 13 items down here, that's our stems. If you look in here, these are all stems. Now, that's basically. The stems of Halloween so what I normally do is I drag this in there so I can have a preview of what those uh or I shouldn't say a preview but I have a master two track stereo of all those stems so as you see right here where it says MPC Pro export this is you got your project data and you got your MPC Pro export now don't rename MPC Pro Export because it'll change everything and it'll mess everything up. So what I normally do is I go here and I change this to Halloween Export because that's the name of the track. And I'll know in my file system what is what. So I just hit done and now Okay, now let me show you something. You see how I renamed that Halloween export? Now, if I was to go back here and export for MPC Desktop, it would actually rename it MPC Pro Export. So if you try to do two, um, I don't remember if it erases the other one or it just gives you two files and then you don't know what's what. So that's a very key thing to remember is to rename your export right after you export it. Now, if you notice, oh, I didn't mean to do that. But uh, here's how your tracks get laid out. You just basically 
have a, a the last a thumbnail of the last page you were on okay so now what you do now is you either open up your computer and you um, drag this file over to your desktop using um, iTunes or any third-party software or if you have iOS 13 you can drag and drop it to an SD card or a hard drive or a thumb drive or if you have a lightning thumb drive which is kind of old school now but that's you can drag this and drop this right onto that lightning drive from iOS 12 and you can plug that drive right into your NPC or into your computer okay that's the first part of this video okay so now we're getting a screen grab of my computer and what I'm gonna go ahead and open up my third party uh, software which is 3U Tools Okay, we're going to go to apps, we're going to go to IMPC Pro 2, we're going to view, and then I'm going to take Halloween export and just drag it to my desktop. It's going to export everything in a few seconds. And then now this works with the MPCX and MPC Live as well, except so I can show it to you without doing a grainy cell phone video. I'm just going to show you in the software. Okay, and we're done. Now, if you look at this file, you see how it says MPC export. Now, if I wanted to, this is my NPC drive. My NPC is connected in controller mode. So anytime I make a beat on my NPC X, whether I'm doing it in the software or not, I always save my songs here. I have my samples, I have everything here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, just to show you, I haven't imported anything into anything yet. I'm just gonna open this up. And what it's going to do is it's going to automatically open in the MPC software, which is pretty dope. Okay, no, no, no. It's going to import everything like it would if you were loading up a song. Now this would have took a lot less time if I had the NPC app open already, but I specifically didn't want to do that so you could see everything load up on its own. And as you can see, I got a shit ton of expansions. Some that I made on my own and some that came with when I bought my NPC. Okay, so let's hit every play, see if we got what we wanted. And everything is there, ladies and gentlemen. Tracked out and everything. And that's how you make a beat on your iPad. And you export it and import it into the NPC. That's pretty dope. So, before this video gets any longer, I just wanted to show y'all, you know what I'm saying, what you could do with an iPad. Now this series is going to continue because I'm going to show you how they compare the MPC X with the iPad app IMPC Pro 2. It's your boy Shazam signing out. Hope y'all loved it. And I'm out. Shazam, the iPad producer from Riverside. How you doing?